Their brains are small. But who's the dumbest one of all? True, none of them are in Mensa, but who's the most densa? <laughs> Perhaps it's Sonny who mastered the art of making idiots look smart. Now the view could ask a mirror who's the dumbest one of all, but there's no way that glass doesn't shatter. So instead, let's check out this clip from Monday's episode of The View when the ladies put their science caps on and discuss the solar eclipse. I know, right? I mean, I have to say, um, Karen Dupiche, our, our wonderful, oh one my of our gosh. wonderful makeup artist, when the earthquake was happening, she put her coat on and she was like, Jesus is coming. I'm out. I'm, I'm out. I'm leaving. We've got a solar eclipse. Uh, we've she got the earthquake. Down the she ran down the hallway. <laughs> the rapture then, is here. The rapture's here. And then also, I learned that the cicadas are coming. Cicadas. Cicadas. Although I love for the, the first time in cicada, cicada. like no, 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 hundred no, no, years, no, no. for the first time <laughs> in, in many, many years. No, and seven, so, every 17 years this happens. Well, that's not what I read, but maybe, <laughs> but, you know, maybe well, you know better. All those things together would maybe lead one to believe that, you know, either climate change exists that's more or something point. is really or going is returning. Uh, earthquakes are not at the mercy of climate change. It's underground. No. It, can't, I don't it, think it, that's it happens. I and the, and the, the eclipse, they've known about the eclipse coming because eclipses happen, and they actually can say when these things are going to happen. Amazing. Oh. That's not what I read. <clears throat> the true sign of the apocalypse is someone that dumb has a law degree. Worse, if your name has the word sun in it, there's no excuse for not knowing how an eclipse works. <laughs> but it's no surprise that Joy is the one who understands science. She's been on the science diet for years. <laughs> what? Oh. Uh. They're turning on me. So that makes Sonny Hostin, who thinks climate change caused the solar eclipse, the dumbest of them all. Because everyone knows the moon caused the eclipse, which is controlled by the view's gravitational pull. <laughs> all right, uh, Kat, did you ever see such a group? It's amazing how Joy and, and Whoopi became the smart ones. For me, the most shocking thing about the conversation was how truly boring it was. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, well, the cicadas, um, they're cicadas. Okay, but it was like every 100 years, no, it's every 17 years. <laughs> Do you know how many Emmys this show has? <laughs> 31. 31 Emmys? This show has 31. I mean, I'd hate to see the conversations that don't make headlines. <laughs> <laughs> what? And we don't have a single Not a Emmy. single we don't one. Have a, what does that tell you about the Emmys, Kat? Yes, thank you, Mr. Boo. <laughs> Give that man a free Something. A cup of water. <laughs> Charlie, uh, is, are these women bad for women? They're uh, bad for more than just women. <laughs> the whole discussion about climate change drives me nuts because it does not exist. But the only reason I've come to love it is because of the characters that have gotten themselves involved. I mean, just a couple of weeks ago when I was on the show, we were talking about the snowboarder mm -hmm. who testified before Congress. Remember, he was like the guy who was like, oh, bro, like, I think that there's climate change. And uh, he had no idea what he was talking about. That was great. And then uh, Greta Thunberg, who I have grown to be very fond of because she continually makes a mockery of herself. She was arrested not once but twice yeah. this past weekend. And now Sonny Hostin throwing her hat in the ring, claiming that these naturally recurring events, such as earthquakes, which, by the way, I did my research, the first one was in 1831 B.C., mm. saying that they stem from climate change or something. Yeah. And I know, I know she was just dying when she said something. She wanted to say racism. Mm. Dying to say that. <laughs> yeah, it was either going to be racism or Trump, but then she realized, what if Trump wasn't born then? Yeah. Also, what a, what a way to cover your bases. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. Jamie, you do that a lot with punchlines. Oh. Yeah. What do you, what's your problem? What a sensitive audience tonight. And it's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie. Yeah. What's, what are your thoughts on The View? <laughs> I, I want to know too, Jay. I, <laughs> what are you? Why are you being so quiet about yeah, this? Get, get it out, young man. <laughs> I'm glad you guys asked. I hate that show so much. And Kat is so right. Like, what are the? What is the show prep? They just go go. <laughs> <laughs> is that the pre-show? Like, what was that? I didn't realize until Kat started talking that that all happened on the air. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just like a behind-the-scenes disaster. A blooper. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. And we can disagree, Greg. You say cicada, I say cicada.
<laughs> we can disagree. But I, I feel like if the world ends, first of all, I'll have, I'll have saved the exact correct amount of money. <laughs> um, with all due respect, I hate the solar eclipse. I went from New York City to Rochester, New York this weekend to do a gig. Mm -hmm. My flight got canceled. I forgot about the eclipse. And I looked it up. There's no other flights. Yeah. The train is sold out for people going to see this eclipse. And I, people want to see the eclipse so bad. All the flights to Buffalo were sold out. Flights to Syracuse. Were, that's how bad people want to see the eclipse. They went to... Syracuse. Yeah. That's how bad it was. And I, I was so annoyed by the whole thing and the world's not ending and it's not even that big a deal. And like I was in the green room, I was on the show last week and I was talking to Tyrus backstage and he like stood up in front of this lamp and I was like, that's kind of it. <laughs> we know Cleveland finally had a good view of something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what about poor Buffalo? Like people in Buffalo where it's like it was a cloudy day. Yeah. Buff Buffalo's like slogan should be so close. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's the chart? Have you ever been on the View? I have many. Uh, I think when uh, was was uh, Barbara uh, Walters? Was she still on it back then? Yeah, she, uh, she was on it even after she died. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I remember I, I I was I remember I was on the View and I just I was I don't know what. <laughs> Whore, man whore I was playing at the time in a movie he was promoting. And I remember I took off her shoe just as a, as a joke, you know, to kind of do something. And, I just, and her foot, I just like, ooh, that was a mistake. <laughs> oh, my God. Her, her, hey, it was kind of every toe had its own, you know. Anyway, God rest her soul. I, yes. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know who's dumber, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, with you. I don't yeah. know. It's a tough I mean, question. It's a close. It's. I. You know what? I'm gonna. Whoopi. You know, she thought like uh, either either the Nazis thought the Jews were a race or were in a race. I'm not sure what she thought. <laughs> and I thought, you know, um, this, this new one was Sunny, pretty dumb. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Joey Bihar in her own echo chamber. I'm gonna say the dumbest people who still watch the show. Yes. <laughs> the whole audience mm -hmm. clapped the by the studio way, audience. Statements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoopi though, she's funny, right? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was trying to find some kind of redeeming thing to say about the view. You could see right through me. Well, at least uh, Joy and Whoopi were fact checking this time yes. around. That was surprising, a pleasant one. Yeah, it was. We won't be seeing that again. <laughs> All right. Up next, if your hearing's acute, beware the sound of fruits. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.